September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and Gunderson officials are spreading the word on the journey cancer survivors can take. News A Now's Michael Germain joins us in studio with one st such story. Good evening, Michael. Ken, Karen Dahl at Gunderson Health has years of research in understanding ovarian cancer. With no screenings or tests available for ovarian cancer, she must take the health of patients into her own hands. I've lost both of my parents to cancer, um, and I lost my mother at a very young age. And so I think, and they were both healthcare providers. Which initially attracted Dahl to make a difference in the community. And being involved in women's health is very important to me. And um, like I said, being an advocate, I have, now I have two daughters of my own, and you know, I want them to be strong women and for them to fight for their health. Dahl's mother was treated at Gunderson for a brain tumor, along with her grandparents who also had cancer. When I got the job opportunity to come back to here, it was um, a really cool thing to be like, you know, that I can give back to, to the um, organization that helped ultimately help my family. For the past 20 years, Dahl's research has been on understanding ovarian cancer. We do a lot of things what we, what we call in um, cell culture dishes. So we have um, human tumor cells that are growing in the lab where we, like I said, I treat them with different chemotherapies, I treat them with different drugs, or I, um, you know, look at the different genes in them. Ovarian cancer is the fifth leading cause of cancer deaths in women because it is detected at a very late stage. Although chemotherapy is effective in killing cancer cells, oftentimes those cells come back. Are cells that survive, you know, really tiny cells that, that we can't see um, survive and they grow back and this um, leads to what we call relapse. According to Dahl, when these patients relapse, they often don't respond well to subsequent therapy. That's been one of the major issues I've wanted to tackle is how do we get um, women to, to respond better to the therapies so that, so that we can find new ways to attack those cancer cells to, for better long-term survival. With no screenings or testing in place for ovarian cancer, it creates an emphasis for women to take charge of their own health. Most women, when they're diagnosed with ovarian cancer, the disease has spread throughout the peritoneal cavity, throughout the belly, and this leads to um, really poor survival rates. According to the CDC, in 2020, the adjusted rate for ovarian cancer in Wisconsin was 9.4 per 100,000 women. Ken?